What's up, YouTube? Uh, back here, starting off another signing. Uh, it's been a while. Um, coming back from the Lexington Comic Con uh, in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I usually go up to that mess <laughs> uh, because it's close. Um, but got a lot of new autographs. Um, I'll give get deeper into the convention overall after I show the autographs. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, coming back from the Lexington, Lexington Comic Con, uh, I don't go to this event often. This is only the third time I've been, um, for other reasons. Like I said, I won't get into that right now. But we met some people today <clears throat> and yesterday. I went Friday and Saturday. Um, we met Sergeant Slaughter again. This is my third time meeting Slaughter. Uh, Ricky Steamboat, Arn Anderson, Lex Luger, uh, and the Steiner Brothers. So we met six guys up there. Uh, some of the guys that were there that I did not meet were Nick, Nikita Koloff, who I've met several times, uh, Darby Allen, and Sammy Guevara, who I just met uh, a couple months ago. Um, and Al Snow was there as well. Uh, I didn't see him, but he was advertised. I don't know. But I just want to get in here. Uh, like, I, I love these videos, as you know that I do. Uh, this is my favorite videos to make. Um, these are, like I said, the new autographs that I got at the Lexington Comic Con. Um, sometime next week, I have two new pickups from Hogan's Beat Shop. We'll do a video on that. Um, so, first off, uh, let's get right into the autographs. Um, first off, we'll do Lex Luger. Um, no, at the, the Lexington Comic Con, they're always pricey, straight up. Uh, so I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I did get enough. Um, the first item that I picked up was this 8x10 here by Lex Luger, as you can see there. Um, I think it's the old, it's the old U.S. title from the late 80s, mid 80s, whatever. But uh, Lex Luger, always a cool cat to meet. Uh, He's really, really, you can tell, um, really appreciates his fans. Uh, but I got three things signed by Luger, this being the first one, uh, this 8x10 right here. Then uh, his book, I've had this for a while. Uh, got this signed by Lex Luger as well. Um, it says, to Josh, great meeting you, Lex Luger. Uh, his vendor wasn't, I paid 40 to get this sign. His vendor wasn't paying attention and tried to charge me $60 like I just grabbed a book off his table. Um, I'll go ahead and say it. One of the, the worst things about <clears throat> this event were some of the vendors, especially Sergeant Slaughter's. His vendor was awful. I, just awful. Just straight up awful. But anyway, uh, there's a book, Lex Luger, uh, Wrestling with the Devil. Lex Luger, if you've never seen this, uh, definitely, definitely, or seen this. If you haven't read this, uh, definitely, definitely go check it out, man. Uh, good read. And then the last thing I got signed by Lex Luger was this Great American Bash poster. Y'all have seen this on my wall before. Um, I got this signed by Lex Luger and Arn Anderson. There's Arn right there, and uh, there's Lex Luger there. I wish I wanted to get the Steiners to sign as well. I just low on cash, uh, and if I was going tomorrow, I would definitely have got Sting to sign this. Uh, but those are my Lex Luger autographs that I picked up this weekend, and plus the Arn Anderson. So we'll jump right into Arn Anderson uh, autographs right now. Um, first off, I have an old 8x10 that I had. Um, I had this signed by Tully a few years ago, and I got Double A to sign it as well. It's an old WWF promo pick, as you can see there. I got it signed by Arn. I wish he would have signed a different color, but hell, Tully signs in black. But Double A, one of the coolest dudes. If you're ever in a meet and greet, and you're like, who do I want to meet? Arn Anderson's there. Meet Arn, man. Cool as shit. Um, and then my other thing that I got signed by Arn Anderson. This is my second time meeting Arn, by the way. Um, 
<clears throat> I got this WC, excuse me, I got this WCW magazine from February 96. It's got him, Flair, Pillman, and Ben Wall in the front. As you can see there. Mm. Those are my autographs for Arn Anderson. Excuse me, let me take a break. Um, next up, Steiner Brothers. Rick and Scott, this is my second time meeting Rick. I've met Scott Steiner like seven or eight times. Um, but anyway, I got this old school tag team, ta uh, eight by 10. I love this picture. I think it's, I think it's a dope picture. Uh, Steiner's one of my favorite tag teams. Uh, they're both very cool. I really like it really gets it's weird you know i always hear all these fans bitch about what an asshole scott steiner is i've met steiner like i said six seven eight times and i ain't never had a problem with him ever um other things that i got signed by him i got this older eight by ten of just scott steiner here and then i also got the no way out DVD from year is this? I can't remember. It's 03. Yeah, 03. Um, I got the actual DVD signed. And it was cool because Steiner didn't even charge me to sign this because his vendor wasn't paying attention. If you the vendors at the Lexington Comic Con this year were awful. Uh most of them. They just weren't paying attention. The only vendor at this event that paid attention was the one that had Arn and Ricky Steamboat. He was pretty cool, but yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on. But those are just items I got signed by the Steiners uh, and Scott Steiner. Um, we got two individuals left, uh, so we'll get into that now. Sergeant Slaughter. Met Sergeant Slaughter up there. It's the third time I got to meet Sarge. Um, I got another poster signed. Y'all have seen this poster before. Um, earlier this year, I got Jake and DiBiase to sign it, and I got Slaughter to sign it right there. As you can see, in green. It'll be a, probably be a while before I get this poster signed again. But Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, next up for Sergeant Slaughter, we got an old Pro Wrestling Illustrated. <clears throat> this is from April of 99. Or April of ninety one. It says Yo Jojo, Josh, Sergeant Slaughter, Sergeant Slaughter, at ease, maggot. I got that signed in blue, or he signed in blue. So that's cool. I always love meeting Slaughter, no doubt. Not even. Um, and then like in Lexington, they were Sergeant Slaughter's vendor. I'm about to show you this belt I got signed. Sergeant Slaughter's vendor tried to charge me $100 to get it signed. Now, take in consideration, Sergeant Slaughter's advertised for $40. There was no, nothing advertised for extra shit to get signed. So I told dude, I said, look, I'm not giving you $100 to get this belt signed. I said, the most I'll give you is $60. Bucks. So he took the $60, um, and I got that signed. Um, I did not get my Intercontinental signed by Steamboat, though, but... I'm meeting him again in a few weeks, and I will get that sign. But uh, here's the winged eagle. Y'all have seen this belt before. I've showed it. Um, I got it signed by Sergeant Slaughter. It says, at ease, Sergeant Slaughter, Royal Rumble 91, Hall of Fame 2009. Of course, that's when he won it. As you can see right there. I got it signed on the back. Uh, but, yeah, it really pissed me off with how they were doing just trying to hustle. Like, people ain't retarded, dude. All right. The last autographs that I got this weekend. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Always a pleasure. I just told you the story about my Intercontinental title. Um, hold on one second. I've already seen one item that's missing. I'm back, folks. Uh, got three things signed by Ricky Steamboat. First off, I got this poster from WrestleMania 3. 
He signed the red paint. As you can see there, it's a good looking poster. Sucks, man. Light in here. Anyway, it says Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Hall of Fame 2009. I got it signed right under Hogan. Uh, a Greg Valentine will be signing this in a couple weeks, and then Jimmy Hart afterwards. Uh, I can't wait. I love this poster. A lot of the fans up at the convention love this poster. Uh, so, yeah, can't wait. Two more items. My last two items are from Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So let's get to them. First off, uh, we have a figure. It's one I bought a few years ago. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat Hall of Fame 2009 in red paint. I think that looks really good there. And then the last item we have to show today. I hate it because these videos seem like they go by so fast. Well, I have fun doing these. We have, from October, November 1985, we have WWF Magazine. Uh, it says Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Excuse me, Hall of Fame 2009. He told me also um, that he doesn't see a lot of these in good shape. Um, I got this off Amazon for like $30. 30 so, um, yeah, man. Love this magazine. Haven't even looked at it yet. I just got it not that long ago. But, yeah, man. Just wanted to share that. Those new autographs that I got from the Lexington Comic Con. Um, if you want my honest opinion on the Lexington Comic Con, and I'm going to get some heat. Lexington Comic Con is way overpriced. Like, the mission to get in the door there is re retarded. It's ridiculous. Um, Friday is 40 and Saturday is 50 Like, y'all got to do something better than that. But I will say this. The first two times I went to the Lexington Comic Con, it was fucking a clutterfuck. This time, way more organized. Um, the only bitch I have about it was Sergeant Slaughter's vendor, mainly. Um, I just watched him basically just take people's money, dude. Just take people's money. It was embarrassing. Um, but, yeah, really well put together. Just tick prices are high, and their autograph prices were all over the place. It's like the vendors were just making up prices on the fly. Um, but, yeah, I just want to share, share those off. Um, my next meet and greet, September 25th in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm riding down to meet Greg Valentine. And then the following weekend, October uh, Sunday, October 3rd, I'll be right back down to Nashville to meet um, Jimmy Hart, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Bushwhacker Luke, and Jerry Sags. I don't know if Brian Knobs is going to make it. It don't look like it. Um, get well, Brian Knobs. But, man, I just wanted to share this video of the stuff I got signed this weekend. I love making these videos. Um, but this is it, man. I'm out.